Hello mga kahabi, welcome back and this is Ezix Figure. Today I'm going to do my first ever anime figure haul. Okay, this is just a mini figure haul, nothing too extravagant, no lots of box to open. This is just a simple one and I just wanted to share to you what I purchased. So come and join me and let's check out the figures. First, we have the cute Pokemon Bulbasaur figure by Takara Tommy. You can see the very nice packaging right here where the figure is tightly sealed and well protected. And also, we have here the dark Pokemon Morpico, also by Takara Tommy. And at the back of the packaging, we have the holographic authenticity sticker and the last figure in the bag we have here the despicable me minion in prison costume also by Takara Tomy. now this version is kind of special because it is a diecast version of a figure so you know what that means so it is a small figure but Tigas is Tigas. Happy to have this one and let's check out the figure later. So there we have the three small but cute figures in the package. Let's open up this package and see what we have inside. This is the Super Sonico Chatting Time version and this is my first ever Sonico figure. First glance, she is such a lovely, cute, and at the same time, sexy figure. We sculpted her hair and that color is so amazing on her. It fits her sexy and feminish look. You can see the headset she's wearing. It is so detailed and you can see much of her figure wearing this item. I am so attracted with the teddy bear she's holding. It reminds me of Tibbers, owned by Annie from the League of Legends. I so like the idea of her sitting on a very large pillow, having a chit chat with her friends on the phone, and just chilling around. This figure is really awesomely sculpted. And our next box will be the Hatsune Miku Noodle Stopper Chinese version by Furyu. With this figure, I could say has a lot to offer, so let's check them out one by one. The colors of this figure is so amazing and very eye-catching and what makes it more likable is the way she was sculpted. It's perfect. 
I mean, who could say no to this figure, right? She has this cool Chinese feel on her judging by her clothing. And just look at the way her hair was styled and sculpted. Absolutely admire this figure and of course the sculptor who made this figure is indeed a job well done for the artist. And last but not the least, let's open up this box. Behold, this is the Despicable Me minion figure in diecast form. It's quite heavy because of the metal they casted on it, that's why they call it diecast. The only thing that is not metal on this figure is the hair and the two pair of hands. They totally captured the looks of the character in the movie. It is totally a simple figure but overloaded with cuteness to top it up. So this is it, these are all the figures I have for my first anime figure haul and I hope you like our unboxing and review. Alright mga kahabi, in closing I would like to say this advice to keep collecting your figures as long as you can, as long as you have the means to do so because the happiness they bring to us is unreplaceable and cannot be measured. Please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch my other videos. This is Azix Figure. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video.